Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are back together. When you hear these two names, what come to your mind? Your guess might be correct, the two are getting back together. Affleck has reportedly been seen getting picked up in a white SUV that takes Lopez back to her Angeles home. Let's hope that they make it to the altar this time around. Today we are going to be talking about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, their previous relationship, romance, and breakup, and then their recent surprising comeback. Jennifer Lynn Lopez was born on the 24th of July, 1969, in Bronx, New York, USA. Jennifer had always had aspirations for fame from her childhood days. That was the reason why she took dance lessons throughout her early years. At age 16, Jennifer made her film debut with a small role in My Little Girl movie. Her breakthrough in her career was in 1990, when she starred in Fly Girl Dancers, who appeared on the comedy show In Living Color. Before mid-1990, she appeared in so many movies with many notable actors. Some of the movies include Blood and Wine, Selena, Anaconda, U-Turn, and Out of Sight, as well as among others. Just after she came to the limelight with her acting career, she added pop artists to the list of her titles, with the release of her debut album on the 6. The album shocked many people, especially her critics, and sold more than 8 million copies worldwide. Benjamin Geza Affleck Bolt was born on the 15th of August, 1972, in Berkeley, California, USA. Ben grew up in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Ben started his career early, when his first role was in the Burger King commercial. Ben attended both the University of Vermont and Occidental College, but he didn't finish. He left school to concentrate on his acting career. His height and stature earned him the role of a bully severally during his early days. However, these roles did not go well with Ben and his friend Damon. They felt frustrated by these roles always being given to them. This led to them to develop a one-act play by Damon into a script, and the result is Good Will Hunting, a drama that starred Damon as Will Hunting, a brilliant mathematician working as a janitor at MIT. Good Will Hunting brought the transformation Ben needed in his acting career, but he didn't limit himself just to acting. He also ventured into politics. Ben was very active in politics as he frequently appeared at Democratic rallies and as a guest on political talk shows such as Real Time with Bill Maher. In addition to that, Ben also had several causes, including the efforts to end the violence in Congo. After several months of what seemed like a rumor, Jennifer Lopez finally revealed that she and Ben Affleck are engaged again. This announcement is coming 20 years after Ben popped the question. We are looking forward to their big day, though no date has been picked yet. Days after confirming it, Jennifer came down to California to visit Ben. Interesting, right? Ben and Jennifer were spotted hanging out in Miami. He was seen walking behind her as she smiled all through their Florida outing, as seen in photos obtained by Daily Mail. Jen and Ben are both very happy and excited to see where the relationship goes. They are full on dating and very happy together, an insider said after the Miami getaway. One of their photos showed where the couple was spotted cuddling and holding hands in West Hollywood as they headed to a dinner date, and another one showed where they were making out in Malibu when they attended a birthday dinner for Jennifer's sister at Nobu. Not long after Jennifer released the news of their engagement through a newsletter, people chatted with a source close to the couple. It's very cute to see how excited she is. Ben makes her incredibly happy, the source said. Despite their excitement, Jennifer and Ben don't seem to be in a rush either. They have decided to take things slowly at every step in the relationship from the look of things. Before the announcement, their initial plan was to keep quiet for a few days and continue planning their future. Jennifer and Ben seem to be savoring that feeling of being newly engaged. In addition to that, I think they have one or two items to check off the list before they tie the knot. It is reported that the couple recently bought a beautiful house together and intended to blend their families into this beautiful estate. Also, Ben and Jennifer have their children to consider before they finally settle down. Aside from these speculations as to why they have yet to choose a date, a source strongly believes that Ben and Jen are sure of the wedding they want. The only difference is they now have to add additional people to their guest list. Their children now also need to be included in the wedding party because they are now family. Ben's ex-wife will not be left out either. She is part of Ben's family, and there's no reason she would be invited. Whether or not she'll go is up to her. She has rather gotten close to Jennifer Lopez, 
and they are on speaking terms. They know this is important to their children, the source said. An insider continues to give us a clue on what the event will look like, most likely to be in Los Angeles, since it will be the easiest locale for everyone close to the families. They also decided late summer or fall, talking about the date being under the astrological sign of Leo. This has also been talked about and discussed the first time they were engaged, as they truly feel that there is something greater than themselves that brought them together this time, as well as the first time, the insider said. I know you'll be wondering what Ben's wife's reaction will be. She was completely favorable to the news and congratulated the incoming husband and wife. We would recall that Jennifer Garner and Ben broke up a long time ago, and I see no reason for her to get upset about the news. She's happy if he's sober, and he's doing well, both of which she is, and both of which are the utmost important to Jennifer Lopez. The two women have respect for each other as mothers and as individuals. They are on talking terms and have numerous talks. They know that they will be part of each other's families for life through this marriage, a source reported. While we wait for them to release an official date, let me take us back to their first engagement. Jennifer and Ben were first connected in 2002 on the set of the ill-fated Gilgi. Their role involved playing gangsters who fell in love while they were trying to kidnap a neurodivergent man. Though the movie flopped at the box, and among critics who claimed Jennifer and Ben did not have enough critics, Jennifer and Ben became engaged in November 2002, when Ben proposed a six-carat pink diamond ring. But unfortunately, things did not go as planned. Their wedding was already set for September 2003, and Jennifer was already planning to change her name to Affleck. Still, they never made it to the altar as the wedding was cancelled days before the actual date, due to excessive media attention. In January 2004, they officially announced their breakup. Jennifer got married to Mark Anthony in June of 2004, and Ben got married to Jennifer Garner the same year. Though it didn't work out between them then, Jennifer and Ben remained kind to each other in the press. We just happened to be together at birth of the tabloids, and it was like, oh my god, it was just a lot of pressure. I think different time, different thing, who knows what could have happened. But there was always genuine love, Jennifer told People TV in 2006. During one of Ben's interviews in April 2021, Ben praised her in style as the hardest working person I've come across in this business. She has great talent, but she also worked very hard for her success. And I'm so happy for her that she seems, at long last, to be getting the credit she deserves," Ben said. Little do we know that the two are already trying to iron things out. So what do you think about Jennifer and Ben's comeback this time around? Do you think things will work out as planned for them? Will they successfully keep the wedding as low as they want? Share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on the best juicy and insane celebrity news. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.